what what so is this is this well are they saying that like they're saying that masturbation helps you procrastinate i'm f done with this, f this video f f f thanks for f wasting your time with this bull i'm getting the f out of here <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. That's right, as you can tell by the title, we are reacting to this piece of sh of a video that we're about to watch. Shout out to Fagernix. He linked this to me on Snapchat. Um, just an FYI, we're gonna be hearing a lot of just because I'm gonna give you my raw, unfiltered reaction. So the reason why I'm censoring so much is because I recently learned that YouTube does some shadow banning. So like if my video has a lot of uh, swear words, then it will like not promote it as much naturally. That's just the way the system works, guys. Don't hate the player, hate the game. So here we go. I apologize in advance uh, to your brain cells. How much should you really be masturbating? 21 times a month? 41 times a month? This is tip number 11. I don't give a f*** about the order because it's all bull <laughs> It doesn't really matter about chronology, so we're just rolling through this. <laughs> Better sleep. Ejaculating dumps a load of feel-good chemicals in your brain, which put you in relaxation mode and even help you sleep. This is one of those classic tips that's like, hey, it helps with this and it's good for you, but shies away from all of the other negative effects. So once again, better sleep, like, yes, after you have sex, after you masturbate, you'll feel yourself feeling very sleepy. It will help with sleep. However, if sleep is something that you're trying to work on, masturbating is a dumb fix. It's stupid as hell. Let's say you had a car that has like a lot of like weird mechanical issues and it's very bumpy on the road. Um, and then I come and say, hey, just fap before you go for your drive. You'll, you'll feel more relaxed and the bumpiness on the road won't get to you. And although there's truth to that, does that fix what's going on in the car? The underlying causes, the problems? No. <laughs> the f*** is fapping have to do with the goddamn car? In this scenario, your body is your vehicle. And yes, masturbating and fapping is... I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you that those things don't make you sleepy or wouldn't help with sleep. It does. However, it will also become a crutch. There were times where I couldn't fall asleep if I didn't do a PMO session, you know? And that becomes a crutch. I would be like tossing and turning in bed for hours. The visuals they get, what, what, why are we in a cave? Is this her, is this her fap cave where she goes and does little under the blanket action? What the f*** is this? Better attitude. Masturbating briefly makes you forget about your crushing loneliness. Look, look at her. Look at her. She's literally dying. They, they're showing you what it does to you. She's f***ing dead. If you're feeling lonely and you're not feeling connected, just masturbate. Escape the emotion. Don't try and solve your loneliness. Just escape it. Don't go and do something that can help make you feel good and connected and push you further and grow yourself. Like going to the gym or just going having a fun conversation with people. No, just fucking load up porn and blast your brain and f*** yourself. Great tips. Thanks, guys. Less stress. Feeling overwhelmed? Try masturbating. It helps you focus on one thing, which can actually relieve stress. When we want to talk about stress and, you know, these quote-unquote benefits, we have to talk about efficiency, okay? Efficiency comes down to a cost, right? So what is the cost of what I'm doing? What are the benefits I get from it? So because people are so f obsessed with jerking themselves off and, and f themselves, we see a huge advocation of you know all these benefits 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 but masturbation is actually very very inefficient in these fields in these areas of quote-unquote benefits because of the negative side effects also because it's not a discipline it doesn't actually build anything it's destructive in its nature especially if it's habitual and so if we want to talk about stress relief what about drinking a tea meditating exercising Right? These are things that are far more efficient than masturbating that build something and relieve stress. Cold showers. There are so many ways to relieve stress that don't involve you depleting your sexual drive, depleting your sexual motivator. That energy located down there, super potent, super powerful. Uh, to just be dishing it out for all these reasons, stupid as f***. What does this say? <laughs> they got Filthy Frank on here. <laughs> That's actually, this is, this is okay. This is the only one that I actually like. The, the artwork is, is, is pretty good. Better performance. In fact, sexperts 
Tell patients to masturbate more to relieve stress and anxiety related to erectile dysfunction. If you get a wonky willy, try slapping it, silly. I haven't found that to be true. There's countless guys online who say that when they do masturbate, their sex is less enjoyable. They can't finish or they can't even get hard while they're having sex. Okay, now this is simply talking about masturbation, but we know that like 99% of people don't just masturbate on their own. They don't just fap on their own. They bring out the pornography. You're gonna get some major erectile dysfunction, like some serious erectile dysfunction. Especially if you're gonna follow the routine of masturbating like every single day. Like get ready for the PIED. It's gonna come. You can't run away from it. All of this, okay, where are the facts? All right, where, where is this? Where is this study at? Where are these sex experts at? Where are the facts at? Legit, where are the f facts? Filthy Frank, is that is he the sex expert? He's, I don't see no science. Where is it at? Okay, they always talk about science, science, prostate gland, prostate gland. Where is it at? Okay, show me the facts. I'm not gonna go hunting for it because I can just look at this and be like, look, it's both. I don't give a f You don't have anything to back it. Everything that I talk about, first and foremost, comes from my own experience, which doesn't necessarily mean it's factually true, but also the experience of 300,000 people minimum on Reddit, okay? We have a pretty large amount of people there and actual neuroscientists. There's over like 30 studies, insert the image right here, 30 studies on the brain showing that porn is addictive, showing that it actually does mess up your libido. There is science behind this. This is just fucking nonsense. More muscle. Get a good burn and build some gr some girthy forearms with constant solo sessions. Don't forget to work your work out your offhand. Oh my god. Okay, look, like I was at my fattest f weight and the smallest amount of muscle when I was fapping every day. And my forearms, my my quote unquote muscles, they weren't f there. <laughs> It's not how you train your. That's a horrible way to train your fucking arms. The amount of motion that you're doing, like this, like imagine taking a dumbbell and just doing this. What kind of workout is that? What, what am I even f working out? It's a joke. It's a f joke. This is f bullshit. False. Stronger swimmers. In fact, the longer sperm stays in, the weaker it gets. Make sure to cycle cycle those out in a timely manner. I don't know the science behind this. It requires some investigation. I can say this though. When you are on NoFap and you do wait the timeline and and you reboot and you start becoming sexually active, you don't have to worry about any of that shit because your libido is going to be so on, on such an overdrive that you'll just be able to just go, 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 go and uh, your sperm will renew. And also wet dreams as well. Don't forget about that. Your, your sperm will renew. We also need to think back on our ancestors. They weren't jerking it all the time. Here we are. Okay. We're here. What happened? Shouldn't we have died if they weren't masturbating 21 times a day? Oh my god, this is some f***ing bullshit right here. What can you actually cure by masturbating? The common cold and migraines. Get the f*** out of here. I was having the most f***ed up colds when I was jerking off every day. And masturbating didn't f***ing help. Sure, it was a good painkiller, but it didn't f***ing do sh** for me. What did help? is when I went plant-based, whole foods, cold showers, meditation, and fitness. Those things is what helps with common colds and migraines, not jerking off. That didn't do sh** for me. Didn't do f all. Absolute nonsense. Once again, we have the just jerk off and, and just go about your day and it'll help with all things in general. Fapping's benefits are not efficient. They're not efficient. I think that's the word. Uh, definition right here. All it means is that it's not good at the benefits. It's not powerful at its quote-unquote benefits. It's not efficient. I don't know what the f*** this is talking about. Yeah, some people will say after an orgasm, you get a rush of uh, the white blood cells increase and it helps with your cold. Okay, well, you can do the same thing with working out. Meditation. Literally, meditation does the exact same thing. Ups your f white blood cells. Better time management. Masturbating helps you put off everything you don't want to do. Wait, wait, what? What? So is this, is this, well, are they saying that like, they're saying that masturbation helps you procrastinate. Correct me if I'm wrong, drop it in the comments, but they're literally saying masturbation, fapping helps you procrastinate and not achieve the goals you want to do. <laughs> How the f*** is that a f 
Boom. Benefit. What? Faffing makes you lazy and that's fun. Yeah, yeah. Until you're 40 and now you're a useless piece of sh**. And you're a hobo on the street. Yeah. Better sex with other people. Masturbating encourages you to get to know your body and what turns you on. Remember, you can't love others until you love yourself. Well, here we go. Yeah, get to know your body, what you like and don't like. That doesn't make any sense. Really, because fapping and sex, two different worlds. Two different worlds. It's like saying like working by yourself. If I'm just here in my room and working, it will really show me what it's like working with other people, you know? I'll get to know what I what I like in the workplace and what I don't like by just sitting in my room working by myself. Not by going and experiencing other workplaces and being in team environments. No, no, no. Just sitting here working by myself, I'll get to know what I like and what I don't like. This, that's just, that's just, yeah. 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 Yeah! I want you to think about masturbating as tickling yourself. And then when you're with another person, them tickling you. Two different sensations. Very different sensations. Obviously, it's not perfect analogy, but you don't learn what you like by sitting in your bedroom. You don't learn your sexuality by sitting in your bedroom jerking your dick. All you're doing to your brain is training your brain to jerk yourself off. That's what you're getting to like. You're not going and experiencing actual sexuality. You're not going and experiencing sex or what it's like to be with this kind of person and do this and do that. You're not experiencing any of that. And that's what it means to getting to know your body is experiencing real intimacy with real people. Okay, not jerking yourself off. That, that, that won't help you at all. It will just stifle you more. You won't get to know what you like. You have to go and experiment. Oh boy, the finisher. Self-esteem. All that self-love, not only helping your body, but also your mind. It's proven to increase sexual confidence and boost self-esteem. So go f yourself. Yeah! What a great last point here. Oh my god, isn't that insane? How does watching other dudes f the women that you want to f boost your self-esteem? I understand like, oh, you see all these attractive women on your screen, your brain's literally thinking they're there right beside you, boosts your status, boosts your ego, makes you feel really good. At the same time though, the people who are chronically abusing it actually have no f confidence in front of women. They're the people who shy away from women a lot. Generally speaking, okay, I was one of those people and I know you guys are probably one of them or were them or you know a dude It doesn't actually help you in the real environments in the real world environments Maybe your esteem in your bedroom goes up Maybe you feel good right then and there but down the road you sure as hell won't you know what helps boost your esteem your self-esteem your self-confidence setting goals that you thought you couldn't achieve and achieving them and getting them done taking action and overcoming challenges is what boosts your esteem, not instant gratification. How the f does that boost your self-esteem? It doesn't. Don't believe this bull. It's a f lie. Why am I not on the f Instagram feed? This is I'm f done with this, f f this video. F f f f f f f f f f thanks for f wasting your time with this bull. I'm getting the f out of here.